the most wonderful time of the year. And this year, we are celebrating by giving you my top five favorite Disney Christmas movies. This video is brought to you by the Magic Candle Company. I'm a huge fan of Disney park smells, but what happens when I'm at home and not at the parks? Can I still smell those smells? Yes! Magic Candle Company brings you the best smells from around the world to your home. From riding a banshee to a Hawaiian lobby, Magic Candle Company has you covered with small and large candles, fragrance oils, wax melts, and more. So head down and hit my link in the description and be sure to use code BIGBEAUTIFULDIZ15 for 15% off your entire order. I've been burning their candles and using their fragrance oils for many years, and I can tell you they are fantastic. Again, head to the link in the description and be sure to use Big Beautiful Diz 15 for 15% off your entire order. Big thank you to Magic Candle Company, and now on to the video. Number 5. The Santa Claus. This is a Christmas classic that I've only seen in the last couple years, believe it or not. This is one of my grandmother's favorite Christmas movies. So for that reason, it's popular in my family, but for some reason I never sat down and watched the whole thing. But when I did, it instantly became a favorite of mine too. The Santa Claus of course stars Tim Allen and Scott Calvin, a man who accidentally kills Santa by, and by putting on Santa's coat, he becomes Santa. Scott gains weight and grows a beard and is magically transported to the North Pole where he has to prepare for Christmas night. Tim Allen is Tim Allen, so he is wonderful in this movie, and so funny. Since Scott starts to look more and more like Santa, every character starts to think he is crazy. The funniest part of the movie is when the police are looking for him, and the only way they can identify him is by arresting all the mall Santas in the town. But the best part is that Santa Claus is a kid's movie that adults can enjoy, and has messages that everyone can take away. Like when Charlie's mom believes that Scott is actually Santa. This not only saves our hero in the movie, but it is also symbolism for adults losing the belief of Santa and then regaining it through remembering something about their childhood or just a little Christmas magic. But whatever you do, don't look up Bernard the Elf on Google. Number four, Home Alone. The age-old debate, is Home Alone a Christmas movie? I say yes. But Santa isn't in this movie, and besides, it only obviously takes place around the holidays. It doesn't really have that many Christmas themes in it, so... I also don't feel weird if I watch Home Alone at a different time of the year. But Kevin's family leaves him at the house because they are going on vacation for Christmas. Also, it takes place in December, so it qualifies as my, in my mind as a Christmas movie. Also, both the Santa Claus and Home Alone, I'm putting the first ones on the list, because both of these franchise sequels are okay, and the third ones are terrible. In Home Alone's case, the fourth, fifth, and sixth ones are even worse. Did you even know there were six Home Alone movies? Exactly. Anyway, Home Alone itself is so fun to watch. Kevin lives every kid's dream and nightmare as he has the house to himself, but then the goofy burglars Harry and Marv try to break into Kevin's house. The famous scene from this movie, of course, is when Kevin sets all the traps around his house. The movie is not only a great holiday movie, but a great movie in general, being considered one of the best. It also has a great message about family and being grateful for what you have, since Kevin makes a wish that he didn't have a family. It also scared kids like me when I first watched it and made me be scared of being left alone. But eventually I did get over that fear and came to appreciate Home Alone for what it was. All the movies on this list are obviously very special to me and not just because I like them. This is probably my grandmother's favorite Christmas movie and we watch it with her around the holidays often. So those good memories make the movie a little bit more special. Number three. The Nightmare Before Christmas. Jack Skellington is one of my favorite characters of all time, and is probably my mom's favorite character ever. Jack lives in Halloween Town, but discovers another holiday in Christmas Town, and because he wants more in life, he decides to become Santa Claus that year. When his Christmas goals, when his Christmas goals don't go to plan, he realizes the mistake he has made and rescues the real Santa from Oogie Boogie and saves Christmas. The movie is great in so many ways. One being the animation. 
Stop motion is such a cool form of animation and really makes this film unique. The music both composed and sung by Danny Elfman is also one of the best soundtracks of all time. This is Halloween and Oogie Boogie song fit the Halloween theme of the movie perfectly, while What's This and Town Meeting song fit the Christmas theme. Jack's character arc of not of wanting more in his life to realizing that he has everything he wanted in front of him is amazing. The other unique thing about this movie are the characters being very similar to classic Christmas characters in some way, like Zero's nose being like Rudolph's. This doesn't really have anything to do with the movie itself, but I, I find it interesting. Nightmare originally flopped at the theater, only making $50 million at the box office. Which is fine, but compared to Disney's previous movie, Aladdin making $504 million, made Nightmare look like a flop. But after the theatrical release, it gained a bigger fan base over time and became the classic we know today. Also, there is a debate, is Nightmare Before Christmas a Christmas or Halloween movie? It can be both. Number 2. Muppet Christmas Carol You knew this movie was going to be on the list. I'm a huge Muppet fan and love all the Muppet movies except Muppets Wizard of Oz. The Muppets present this classic tale and that's what makes the movie so charming. The Muppet comedy pairs brilliantly with a classic story like this. What's cool about this movie is that each Muppet plays a role in the story. Gonzo and Rizzo the Rat are the narrators, while well, actually Rizzo plays himself. The story itself also benefits from having the Muppets as characters. Kermit plays Bob Cratchit, Miss Piggy plays Emily Cratchit, and Fozzie Bear plays Fozziewig. Most of the townsfolk and characters are Muppets as well, but Ebenezer Scrooge is played by Michael Caine. This gives the audience a visual representation of how Scrooge views the people around him. The Muppets are animals, of course. They're frogs, rats, penguins, so Scrooge feels above these animals, just like how he feels better than everybody else in the, in the original story. It also helps that the Muppet performers and Michael Caine give a brilliant performance. The Christmas ghosts also add to the brilliance of this film. The ghost of Christmas past is a, is a puppet that resembles a child. A creepy one at that. But the ghost should be scary to emphasize the seriousness of Scrooge's lonely Christmases. The ghost of Christmas future is a tall friendly ghost. Since he, so sh since he shows Scrooge the happy Cratchit family and Tiny Tim played by Robin the Frog. The ghost of Christmas yet to come is a tall figure that resembles the Grim Reaper. This could also be scary to some people, but has to be, since it shows what will happen to Scrooge. Muppet's Christmas Carol also has a banger soundtrack. The movie is almost perfect. It is not my favorite Disney Christmas movie. Number one, Prep and Landing. This made-for-TV movie is extremely underrated, and most people don't even know about it. Prep and Landing takes on the very unique thought of how does Santa get around the world in one night? What if he had elves that prepped the house before Santa arrived? Wayne is a Prep and Landing elf that has been doing the job for 227 years and is ready for a change, but his partner gets the promotion that Wayne wanted and Wayne is stuck with a new partner to train. He is pretty upset by this and he doesn't really care about the mission that night. Due to Wayne's lack of care, a child is woken in the night, and Santa is forced to skip his house. But by a litter of Christmas magic, Lanny and Wayne save Christmas for that little boy. My family has spent every Christmas Eve watching this movie. It has been a holiday tradition ever since I was a really, really, really young kid. Prep and Landing has an incredible message about seeing Christmas magic through the eyes of a child, and how everyone can find some cheer around the holidays. I've talked about the music in almost every one of these. I feel music is a huge part of a movie. Soundtracks can either make a movie bad or make a movie really good. The Prep and Landing soundtrack is amazing. Michael Giacchino goes unbelievably hard on this soundtrack. Prep and Landing, amazing movie. If you haven't seen it, go search it up on Disney+. Plus. It's worth a watch.
How are we gonna make it through all this snow? Laughing all the way, my friend. Laughing all the way. Also, the sequels are pretty good as well. So that is my list. Number five, The Santa Claus. Number four, Home Alone. Number three, Nightmare Before Christmas. Number two, Muppet Christmas Carol. And number one, Prep and Landing. I wish you all a happy Christmas and happy holidays. I hope you all have a very good Christmas. I'm probably gonna have a good Christmas myself. So whenever I do one of these lists, I get comments or I get replies on the different links that I post on social media telling me how my list is wrong. Um, cause, cause listen, I have some, uh, heated opinions sometimes and I also have strong opinions on, uh, Disney movies and topics and stuff like that. Things that actually matter. <laughs> so, so if you agreed with this list, Put, put your top five lists in the comments. I would love to go through and read them. Just don't, you know, blast anyone or blast me for my opinions. After all, it's our opinions, not our, not fact. Also, while you're down there, leave a like and consider subscribing. It would make me a very happy man. And with that, I will see you all in the next one. Have a magical day, everybody.